Well, we hear the phrase Tornado Alley. We typically think of states like Oklahoma, Kansas, or even here in Texas. But a new study finds Tornado Alley could shift east. Now, meteorologist Michael Barron joins us now to explain how this is all happening. Hey, Michael. Hey there, guys. Yeah, the study came out late last week. It was pretty widely reported on. It was reporting that a Tornado Alley was moving toward the east. So let's break down that study. What did they focus on? Well, they focused on something primarily known as STP. Now, in the meteorological world, that stands for Significant Tornado Parameter. Basically, that's a composite value that helps us figure out which areas are most likely to see significant tornadoes. And what they found was over the past few decades, that area has shifted further toward the east, while over the traditional tornado alley, it has been decreasing, at least in general. In addition to that, also in general, reported tornadoes have been increasing further toward the east, while at the same time decreasing over what would be your traditional tornado alley. Now, one explanation for this might be some changes to the climate. As the desert southwest becomes drier, that dry air spreads further toward the east. And when that also pushes toward the east is that point at which cool, dry, warm, dry, and warm, humid air collide. And of course, that pushes the point most likely to see tornadic development off toward the east as well. Now, the study is not saying that these areas have not been seeing tornadoes for years. In fact, since the 50s, this is all the reported tornadoes in the U.S., all of these regions have certainly seen their fair share of tornadic activity, and in fact, most experts believe that there are multiple tornado alleys out there, including the Dixie Alley toward the south, Hoosier Alley in the Midwest, Carolina Alley out toward the Carolinas, and of course, your traditional tornado alley through the Plain States. Some of the main concerns, though, is if that system does move further toward the east, where you see more tornadoes developing, is the damage it might cause. Now, in the Dixie Alley region, building standards aren't typically as high as they are in other parts of the country, you have a denser population in the Great Plains, and you have this, higher levels of nocturnal tornadoes, which by design are more dangerous than tornadoes during the day because you can't see them. And in fact, even though this area has less tornadoes than Tornado Alley, it does have the highest percentage of killer tornadoes already, even without the higher shift moving off toward the east. So with that in mind, regardless of the trends, you know, we say this all the time in weather, you always want to keep an eye out for tornadoes because they can have happen any time of the year and at any part of the country. You never want to let your guard down. Guys. You know, I was going to say, Michael, you took the words right out of my mouth. You, no matter where you live, you always want to be weather aware. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. I mean, tornadoes can happen anywhere from Maine to Washington, California to Florida. So, I mean, never let your guard down. Just because you're not in one of those alleys or even in one of the hot spots doesn't mean you're not under the gun at some point during the year. Yeah. Best to be prepared. Thank you so much, Michael. All right. Well, with enthusiasm.